You had a report from your Scottish correspondent up in Glasgow about the COP26 mm. yeah. conference that's happening in two weeks' time up there. <laughs> I'm actually going up on Monday to Friday next week. For I uh, haven't been up since for two years because of COVID. Mm. And I'm looking really forward to going back to my own city. Mm. Unfortunately, given the, the, the pictures on Twitter and everywhere else, I think the SNP have got blood in their hands. And that's quite a, a strong... Um, uh, statement to make but i do think P that pictures of what squalor right the okay. rubbish what, what, what our scotland reporter davy was talking yes. about yeah and nicola, Sturg and bins nicola and sturgeon's own yeah. um constituency is in glasgow mm. and it's overrun it's mm. disgusting and the response the response from glasgow city council at that part was to say well look we'll find fly tippers 35 pounds it's not going to hit anything. But you know what? I've had I have had experience of a, of a big world event in Glasgow. I was there for the Commonwealth Games in 2014. Yeah. And the city was gleaming. So I reckon they'll pull it out of the bag at the last minute. But why should they? They should be pulling it out the bag consistently, yeah. day in, day out, on a daily basis for everybody living there. Well, that's very true. That's very true. Yep. They shouldn't just wait till Joe yep. Biden comes yep. and the rest of the United Kingdom... Well, sorry... Nicola Sturgeon's boss, she keeps seeming to forget that. She is merely a local councillor, really. But Boris Johnson is her boss. He will be going. And let's hope all, every other country in the world can see Glasgow for what it is. Yeah. It is a great city. It's a fantastic city. But 